Hey, can I tax my group? So yeah, hi. Welcome back, and this is now my third animation. I know, right? I'm so preeminent. Anyways, this is Stories from 7th Grade, Part 1. <laughs> so, 7th Grade is usually just that middle year where everything is boring and nothing happens, right? Nope. This year was weird, not only because of the virus. Nope. It was weird because a good amount of people at the school were weird. So I'm just going to go through three random story things from 7th grade in this video. So I gotta start with school lunches because everyone knows that school lunches are a bit low quality. And the weird thing is, as soon as you walk into the cafeteria or hash house, you see these big posters of food that looks fresh and great and a big banner that says cafe. So you walk up to grab a bag of food and head back to your seat. Slowly opening the bag. Oh no. The first thing in this lunch is a bag of sliced apples. Or apple. Yeah, I know that I should have been expecting something pretty bad, but seriously. That's just showing how low of quality these lunches can really be. I mean, one slice of an apple? Why do you even need the bag? All their vegetables were also dried out and usually the utensils were missing. So, how are those apples? Not plural. Sad. How's the broccoli? Dry and pale. Sad. How are those utensils? Missing. Sad. Also, I ate at 10 a.m. What? I mean, sure, you can go ahead and spread out the lunches because of the virus and all, but what? 10 a.m. lunch for all 7th graders and no time for a snack later? Uh, okay? Next up, I'll talk about our medieval groups that we had in social studies, which I strongly dislike any group projects of usually any sort, by the way. But our teacher for this class always puts us into new groups whenever there is a new unit, but this time we actually did stuff. So the first thing that each group had to do was decide on a leader who would be responsible and help get the assignments complete. I thought I should be leader because everyone else in our group was off task usually, but of course they all voted to play rock, paper, scissors for the leader. One of the four people in the group backs out saying they don't want to be leader, so we played three-person rock, paper, scissors. The two other people who were just there decided to have two of us play, and then the winner played them. Uh, what? Look over that idea one more time, because according to this, the winner of the first round has to play two rounds to become leader while the other person who has played no rounds only has to play the winner to become leader. Hmm. So I go along with it anyway, because even though I noticed this, I couldn't figure out how to get it into words, and I probably wouldn't have done it anyway because I don't do that. I mean, just talking to random people in general makes me uncomfortable, so yeah. We start playing and I win the first round, moving to play the second person, who then wins and becomes leader. Sad. And it just so happens to be that this person is the kid who is known at school for getting nothing done and skipping school a lot. And I'm just going to say that that statement is fully serious. Every time we walk into class, the teacher asks the kid if he has finished any of the 5 million assignments he hasn't done. And he always responds with, Sorry, I'll do it in study center. And then he plays video games in study center. So I try to just work on my stuff to get it done, but because everyone knows I'm the one in the group who actually does their work, I'm now being asked constantly if I can do their work for them. Is what I would have done if I weren't so nice. Instead I just settled for a polite, absolutely not. So our teacher always had us play trade games and stuff relating to what we were doing. But this time, we had to play one that would actually count as a grade if you survived the game. Okay. Oh, and also the leader of your group will get an easy A because their job is different. They just sit there and make money from the others. I'm sorry, what? The dude who does nothing also got the leadership job of being the priest, which made things worse because if you don't know, in the Middle Ages, priests had people pay them every time they sinned and they would automatically go to heaven. Weird. So this guy just said that everything anyone did was a sin made loads of money. Oh, you haven't seen them in a while, so you're just saying hi? 
Zen, pay me money. Anyways, I ended up surviving and getting an A, but that still annoys me. So we're finally almost done with the unit and I'm so excited to be out of our group. Sorry to the other members in the group. When he announces that our last assignment is to perform a play to go along with a topic relating to the Middle Ages. Why? And two entire class periods that were supposed to be for working on the script ended up having our whole group argue against the leader who wanted to make everyone except him in the group actually sing. But we finally convinced him and by now we had no time to finish the script in class, so we had to do it for homework. So I helped split up the load to each member of the group and I completed my portion of the work in our study center. Later that day I checked back in to make sure their work was done and it wasn't. In fact it wasn't even started. So I just tried to speed do the whole script to get it done and I did. I asked them why they didn't do their work yesterday and they just ignored the question. See, these are the people who just annoy me because this counts for all our grades and I did all the work. That's the problem with group projects. The teacher puts you in a group with a variety of people and the one person in the group who does their work ends up doing all the work and everyone else who did nothing gets a good grade. Anyways, we did end up getting an A on it, even though it sounded like we were bored to death the whole time. So yeah, I'm ready to get away from this group. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is our band class. Now, I play the trumpet and have been playing it for two years when I arrived here. My first year was mostly just struggling with everything, but my second year, my friends convinced me to join the school's jazz band with them. So we all joined and were the... Only 6th graders there, but we didn't care because we weren't the annoying kind and the older players didn't mind either. Plus, we were good. Enough. The time in that band really helped me improve and I could play pretty hard songs by the end of my second year. Then I moved to where I am now, which I talked about in the last video, go watch it if you haven't. And here, they're a lot less focused on art related stuff, so the highest band here was Intermediate, which still had all the first time players in it. And no one in this band knew how to or could do anything. And we were basically the worst band class because everyone just joked around and did nothing. Being honest, our class probably made no improvement throughout that entire year. And by the end of the year, I had honestly gotten worse because I had to play through all of the easy stuff that I'd already learned before for a whole other year. So yeah, don't wear your tube as a hat. Hope you enjoyed this animation. I'm slowly getting better and trying to increase the quality. So remember to like and subscribe if you like the video to support the channel. Or don't. Bye.